Today's grocery market share release covers the 12 weeks to the 11th of July 2021. Supermarket sales over those 12 weeks fell by 5.1%, which is not surprising when you consider this is annualising against the highest ever growth which we saw back in summer 2020. A more useful comparison, perhaps, is against two years ago, that growth number of 10.9% shown we haven't gone back to normal levels of take-home purchasing yet. Behaviours are moving in that direction though, trips to the grocers increased again and average basket sizes continue to fall. It does look like online sales have reached an important moment, sales down in the last four weeks for the first time ever. It is of course that annualisation effect again, but it's interesting to note that while shopper numbers have slipped back a little bit, the bigger driver is that online baskets are not being as large as they were and the need to do a massive stock up is clearly diminishing. It remains to be seen just how many people will wear masks while shopping now that the requirement in law for England has gone. Our survey data tells us just over half of shoppers felt safe while in retailers, but that does mean nearly half do not and they could head back to online again if uncomfortable with the changes. The comparison with last year makes unpicking the football effect a bit more tricky than usual as the pubs have well and truly been open for business, reducing some of the take-home alcohol sales fees. Again, it's the two-year sales growth that shed most light, with beer, wine and spirit sales up by nearly 30% in 2019, while groceries is only up by a third of that. The online slowdown means Ocado growth has come right down too, but it's still the fastest growing retailer year on year. Among the supermarkets with a physical presence, Waitrose takes the honours, with footfall increasing by a quarter as shoppers add them back into their repertoire of places to visit. Performing ahead of the market, the discounters Aldi and Lidl both make share gains, as does Tesco, which grabbed an extra 0.4 percentage points the single biggest share increase it has made in many years. Morrisons has spent much of the last year growing at or ahead of the market, one of the factors, along with the high finance, why a number of firms are so keen to buy them. In terms of their offer to shoppers, the two things that mark them out as different from rivals. Firstly, Market Street remains core to what they do, at a time when several other retailers are cutting back on counters. Secondly, they continue to offer multi-buyer deals, something which rivals have tended to drop in favour of EDLP or simple price cuts. Visit our website to see current and historical market shares or contact us to receive grocery market share directly to your email inbox every four weeks. Join us next time to find out if the heatwave sends shoppers out for sausages and burgers, if availability issues put a dent in sales and just how the removal on social distancing and masks works out for the grocers.